Did you know the Lego Burlington Northern Southern Locomotive and the TTX Intermodal Double Stack Car were two sets that were meant to be together? For a long time, I didn't know about this. I had the Burlington Northern Southern Locomotive and then I recently picked up the Intermodal Double Stack Car. And when I realized it, I was like, wow, these two look amazing together. I wondered, are they supposed to be together? Well, I did some research and through Lego magazines, both in 2004 and 2005, they were not ever shown together. The BNSF locomotive came out in 2004, followed a year later was the intermodal double stack car. The two of these sets have similar box art and obviously most Lego collectors would say they belong together, but why didn't we see them combined from Lego ever before? Well, actually we did and it wasn't until the end of me filming this video or the footage for this video that I realized, wow, Right on the box for the intermodal double stack car, it shows both the locomotive and this double stack car together. And that's when I was like, well, there goes my video idea. Because it was shocking to me that both in both LEGO magazines, they weren't ever featured together, but that is because they came out in different years. And then lo and behold, it wouldn't be on the BNSF locomotive box because the intermodal didn't even come out yet. However, it makes sense that we would see them both together on the intermodal set because they are combined with one another and this set came out after the locomotive. Now that you know about that, let's check out both of these sets. So the locomotive is pretty sweet. It does have a lot of random sticker placements, which I'm not a huge fan of. Thankfully with my set, the stickers are placed well for the locomotive, even though there's a lot of weird placements here. I mean, we have stickers over multiple bricks, which is no longer allowed or very rarely seen anymore, at least. We have stickers on small parts and stickers in weird cuts. However, mine are great, and I think that's because it came from an adult collector, but I don't know. I don't know the owner. I don't. I just picked it up in a bulk lot, actually, uh, about a year and a half ago. With the Intermodal, however, I picked it up on eBay, and it comes with the box, the instructions, and all the parts to the set. However, some of these stickers are cracked and peeling, and it kind of sucks, but it is what it is with these old Lego stickers that have the white border versus a clear border or any other color, really. Overall, really cool set. As you can see, this set is pretty well built. It has this middle feature, which is pretty sweet. It allows these two cars to stay connected. I love this design and I really didn't know about it ever existing through Lego sets or even actual trains in general until this set came, until I acquired this set, to be honest. I was building it and then was like, wow, it is not two cars that go together. However, it is one continuous piece with that middle part holding those two cars together. Very unique design, very cool thing. Again, I'm shocked I didn't know about this. And yes, you can patronize me and tell me, hey, James, you're not a true train collector. I understand and I'm working on it, I'm learning. I'm young and naive and that's okay. Overall though, this is a great set. I'm very happy I have one now and I would love to acquire or possibly build more of these with my own parts as time goes on. I don't necessarily need to keep buying the set. You can actually just find the parts or collect enough parts to build these intermodal uh, cars. And then you could build multiple shipping containers in various colors. I do like the colors they gave you with this set, but I think it'd be cool to incorporate maybe a green one, a black one, maybe even, I don't know, a bunch of random colors, maybe a pink one, maybe not, but that'd be pretty hard to do. I don't think all those color, I don't think all those parts come in pink, but you know, we'll see. Maybe I can build one someday. You can also stack these containers and mix and match where they go in the train cars, which is awesome. Another cool feature about this locomotive is that it came with a few parts that allowed you to then attach the motor to it. If you did decide to purchase the motor, it did come with these extra light bluish gray parts that you can connect right to the train motor and then make this a working train. And as you see, I've done that and now it's on my ceiling train. And the next thing I really need to do is build a train yard area for the rest of my trains on my ceiling train because right now I just have a bunch of them on one part of the loop. Well. Now that I've shown you both these trains and I've showed you the train in motion, here is the box for the intermodal double stacked car in case you want to see all the sides to this box. Again, it was quite funny when I was filming this box and then saw the one edge of it and was just amazed that I was, I, I looked up all the magazines. I looked at many different things to figure out, okay, are these ever shown connected or, you know, linked to one another in any way, shape or form? Didn't find anything until I looked at this box and that is where it shows them both together. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to see more Lego content and check out this video if you wanna see the coolest Lego train crossing or what I think is the best. 
Lego my James-o.